Well, many parts of the southeast were basking in the last of the warm sunshine today. Beautiful. Tomorrow looks set to be a rather different matter. We'll ask Simon about that in a moment. We will. But the warm September and October has meant our forests have been alive with a wonderful crop of mushrooms and fungus. But as Charlotte Wilkins reports, the crop has produced its own problems. You don't have to stroll very far into the forest to find free food. Wild mushrooms are popping up everywhere. But many of our fields and woodlands are being stripped bare by large groups of people who are picking kilo after kilo of fungi before selling them on to restaurants to cash in. Usually they're after seps because they are the ones that are going to fetch the most money. Uh, like any industry, you do get these cowboys that will sort of go, OK, let's get someone who knows about it, get a load of people, and we're just going to sweep the woods, pick everything. Um, and and that's, that's where the issue is. I think it needs to be perhaps policed a bit better. Nick runs hunting and foraging courses in Sussex. So that one there is, is in prime condition. He says he's come across piles of unwanted mushrooms and toadstools which have been picked, then dumped, because they're not worth anything. This is an example of something that would probably be swept up if there was a sort of a group going around. This is um, a brown birch boletus, which is, is again, part of the same family as, as the set, um, but it's not a choice edible, so it's not something that really people, people would want to buy. Neil Fletcher from the Sussex Wildlife Trust says it's happened on one of their reserves. It's a bit like trawling the ocean for absolutely every fish you can find and just keeping the few that you can sell on. It, it can be absolutely devastating. This isn't foraging, this is pillaging. A mushroom or a toadstool is just like the fruit, really. It's like a, a hazelnut on a hazel tree or an acorn. It provides the spores for the next generation. If all of them are taken, then future generations may not exist. Foraging for wild mushrooms is not stealing, but if you collect and sell mushrooms without the landowner's consent, then you can be prosecuted. That's about a kilo of seps there. For personal use, we'll never take any more than that. And pickers are warned to beware, because many fungi are poisonous and could even kill you if you eat them. Mushrooms are vital for the development of plants, especially trees. Without them, a whole woodland ecosystem could start to break down. Charlotte Wilkins, ITV News, Ashdown Forest.